It's the most popular cosmetic surgery available in the U.S. with nearly 290,000 patients slated to boost their bus this year alone. But what happens when painful complications appear many years down the road? This is Darlene's story. About eight years ago, I decided to get breast implants. After my twins were born, I felt very self-conscious of my breasts because they were not symmetrical anymore. They were saggy, and I just wanted to do something just to feel good about my body. I was fairly happy with the results. I had that kind of confidence back that I looked proportionate to my body. About two and a half years ago, I was watching TV, and all of a sudden I got a really kind of a cool sensation on the left side of my breast. It felt like some water was being released into my body. And then as I was sitting there, I could actually see it deflating and getting smaller, kind of like a balloon. A week after it deflated, I began to feel a very intense pinching feeling on the left breast that would not subside at all. It was a continuous discomfort, pain, pinching. That's when I called the doctor's office where I got the surgery and I explained to them what went on and they assumed that the only way to get out of this comfort was to take it out. The doctor who did the original surgery said, that if I were to do this, I'd have to pay for it. I can't afford it. My general practitioner didn't offer any real solutions. I have been living in pain now for two and a half years. My health insurance will not cover to help me with the pain. It's starting to hurt down my arm as well. It's with me all the time, 24 seven. I can never get away from it. I consider taking it out of myself. So I thought maybe I can get a razor blade. I can just cut out the bottom of my breast tissue, take out the implant, maybe get a towel and you know soak up the blood and hope to let that heal. Other things started coming into my mind. Infection, I didn't want to have a worse problem on my hands. I just realized how desperate I really was. My greatest fear would be to have to live like this for the rest of my life. To get to the bottom of Darlene's intense pain, we sent her to board certified plastic surgeon, Dr. Gary Modicky. So, I've looked through some of your information. Tell me a little bit more about the pain that you're having from the actual deflation. It feels like a severe pinching feeling. And it's kind of like a pain you can't get to. I've heard it described as that, as in other words, you try and get to this, some relief from it, but you just can't seem to find the right That's product. right. I can't get any relief. Now, there's a couple of things I, I, I'd be curious about. Okay. Um, number one, do you know what type of implants these are? Like, were they smooth? Were they rough shelled? Did you I know think they're the rough shelled ones. Okay. The rough shell, they're a little bit firmer. As this implant deflates, it ends up looking more like something like this. And what happens is the pocket that was there is now starting to almost implode like a vacuum. And what you can get on the sides are knuckles and things like this that are quite pinchy. Secondly, as it's collapsing like this, like a scar tissue and basically closing down and squishing, it can be pulling out mirrors, it can be pulling on the scar tissue. And if you don't take out the implant, it'll just constantly keep trying to crush oh that implant and contract it. It can be quite annoying and quite painful. So I think the best thing to do is to take a look. Well, it's definitely smaller. Also, other thing I think I feel is you have um, some scar tissue itself. Not only do you have a deflation on your left side, but your right side breast is tight. I think you definitely have scar tissue around that implant. If you don't switch that, I think you're at a higher risk for that side rupturing in your future. I would be a little bit curious if you can obtain your old records, finding okay. out exactly what type of implants are in there, what they were filled to, the brand, all these sorts of things. Okay. I'm hoping that this, you know, as you think about it and as you maybe understand what's going on, it will give you at least some psychological relief. Oh, absolutely. Just a few days out from that visit, both Dr. Modicky and Darlene now join us. And well, you know, one of the, the first things that struck me is, I'm so happy that you went to see someone who can help give you the answers that you need. Dr. Modicky, I know yeah. you reviewed her records, examined her. Were you able to really get to a point where you think you know what's causing her pain? Well, the thing of, with an issue like this, I think it, it should be clear that a deflation itself doesn't typically cause pain. It's usually painless. So it's called a silent leak in most cases. Even in a case of saline, it may deflate, but it doesn't hurt. So in her case, the pain may be more related to the capsule, the scar tissue contracting, causing the pain, but not actually from the deflation itself. Financially, this is, this is something where you've literally thought about taking a blade, and that really struck me. When I heard you say that, I realized 
this is a big deal. Um, Dr. Monica, the only way she's going to get relief is I surgery, think, right? Now, as far as will it solve the pain issue, we don't know until we get into the surgery. We don't know until we get in there and remove that implant. But on the other hand, it's the right thing to do. You can't just, you could leave it in there, but it's not the right thing to do. I think the implant needs removed and taken out, and it'll do a lot of things. It'll give us a lot of answers. It'll tell us what's going on in the pocket, what is going on with the capsular contracture. It'll give her implants that are not the old implants than the textured implants. I would recommend going with a smooth implant. And um, I think she'll get relief not just physically, but emotionally, mentally, everything that, that she's been left wow. kind of helpless and with lots of questions. And I know that. You know, that all sounds great, um, but it's expensive. Well, we have somewhat of a little surprise today, which is uh, pending some further investigation, because I haven't, we still don't know quite, we haven't been able to get the records from our office. We've been trying to get them, but I wanted to let you know that when, if we get the records and everything is fine, we're going to go forward with the surgery, and I'm going to do it for you. Aww. I'm feeling very hopeful. Yeah, I'm very excited. Well, thank you for sharing your story, Dr. Madakin. Can't thank you. Enough.